Hello my friends. One of the best ways to use biochar is to make terra preta. And what that is is the rich soil from the Amazon. And uh, to make this, what you want is a 5 to 10 percent mix of biochar with topsoil. So here the uh, biochar is already a 50 percent mix with compost. So what we need is nine parts topsoil and one part biochar. So I measured it, the soil out and what I have here is um, four five gallon buckets of topsoil and that'll give me eight parts and then the biochar here when I fill this bucket it will have one part of compost in it which will give me a 10 percent mix of biochar to soil. So this is a concentrated mix being 10% any more it doesn't show effective uh, results in the, the gardening. So now we need to turn this and get a good mix. Need to bring my hoe into this. The uh, terra preta, this is uh, the black earth of the Indians uh, or Amazon uh, earth and this uh, the soil the terra preta and the Amazon or by the natives was used for hundreds if not thousands of years and Right now the soil is being exploited. They're digging it up and selling it for potting soil. Uh, some areas this, their terra preta is, uh, is up to six feet deep. Got the squirrels watching me. The terra preta is possibly the most fertile soil in the world and it can be used right as your garden soil for raised beds or even used as potting soil. In fact that's what they've been digging it for is selling it as potting soil from the Amazon. I've been seeing the uh, squirrels have been going and digging into that biochar. That biochar is over two weeks old. That's how long it's been inoculated. And 14 days should be enough for the inoculation period. Okay, this already taken a lot nicer mix than the biochar. The biochar you can see here it's kind of heavy, it's soaked, it feels gritty, feels like charcoal even though it's half compost. The uh, compost has a lot of or is all organic matter or mostly organic matter and should be high in nutrients, high in nitrogen or nitrates. If you have access to manure. Um, it's real good if you have like a, a pen where you're raising animals. Throw your charcoal right down into the manure on the floor or on the ground and that will precharge the charcoal right there from the urine from the, and from the manure. Oh, that smells so good.
very earthy. A lot better than the soil, that topsoil that I put in there. Okay, this is ready. It's going to be used right as a garden bed, and I'm going to also use it uh, for putting potted plants, starting, uh, starting my plants, better than the uh, potting soil that you can buy in the store. Right here, I'm going to put a loquat. I'm going to plant a loquat. This is a, a tree. So what I'm going to do is remove the mulch, pull the mulch away. And then what I will do next is remove about five gallons of topsoil. And I'm going to haul this away. This is going to go to mixing with biochar to make terra preta. And you can see the soil here is really sandy. And it's been leached for years of its of nutrients. So, next thing is to take the terra preta that I made and we're going to put it in the ground. Look at the color difference between that gray sand and this wonderful new soil. Okay, here's the tree. And I was going to say you don't want to disturb the roots, but I don't want this soil. There, we're down to the root ball. Okay, now we'll put some mulch back over and I'll water it in real good and I'll keep watering it every day. Okay, now five gallons of that soil should get this little tree to a real healthy start. And that's given me five more gallons of topsoil. I'll just, every time I put a new plant in, I'll just keep replacing the soil, remove the topsoil, and mix that with my biochar. And I have a continuous batch of char going. Um, I'm continuously burning and quenching the fire, making charcoal, and then the next morning after it's quenched, next morning I'll go and separate the sticks and break up the charcoal and then go through the whole inoculation process again and I will eventually have a lot of grow beds that is all terra preta. Here I'm going to show you the steps from raw materials to a finished garden. Right here is wood that I am cutting up and burning. I'm creating charcoal that's this pile right here and I'm continuously adding to that every day and then from there I'm going to the biochar and this is inoculated two weeks of inoculation and then from there we're going to terra preta and this is the black earth of the Amazon well thanks for watching my friends bye bye